What up YouTube? It's The Ways and I'm Tia and today we're back with another video. So I got like this whole box of a makeup that I want to play with. Some of it's new, some of it's I've been trying and I just want to play and I want to put on my full face. So during the intro, go ahead and subscribe if you're not part of the fam gang gang. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I load a new video. If it's not already hit, I'm so excited to put some of these products on my face. Some of them are viral. Some of them are new. Some of them are just, I don't know, things I want to try. So I'm ready to put this stuff on. Let's go. Okay, I'm not even gonna talk too much. I just wanna get into this look. I have some new stuff. I think I'm gonna start off with my eyes. I have two new palettes in my collection. Actually, I have more than that, but I have two new palettes in this box. I have the Odin's Eye Angelica times Angelica Nikfis, the uh, Trick or Treat palette from last year. I have not used this yet. And I was going to use this, but then I also got that Clarity Cosmetics Dead Roses palette, okay? Ah, oh, I have to play with the Clarity. So we're going to go into this Clarity palette. It is so cute. First, get into the freaking packaging. What? As soon as I seen this packaging, I was like, I need this palette. And then she took forever, I think until launch day on Instagram, to release what it looks like. And I was like, as soon as she released it, add to cart, add to cart. I, I bought it the first day. I love, I've done another video using new makeup and I use Clarity Cosmetics for the first time because they sent me, um, because I ordered a palette and got it for a penny or a dollar, or I just had to pay for shipping, it was free. And I really enjoyed it. I also got another one like that. Um, I don't know what's over here, where is it? I don't know where it's at, but super duper cute. But I think the ones that she's putting on, oh, it's right here, ah, it's right here. It's called the Cobra palette. I love how small her palettes are. Like this one's square and this one's rectangle, but they're really, really small palettes. You can even just tell if you have any Odin's Eye palette, this is still a small palette, but look how much smaller it is. Granted, it's only like a nine pan palette, the Clarity, but I just, love the like convenience of the smallness of the palette but I had got this cobra I forgot about this but I think that these palettes that she is giving away for free and you just have to pay for shipping I think she's reformulating or doing new color stories I don't know if she's doing a new formula but just new color stories and I was like okay I'll take it greens and this mustard yes I'll add the cart Add to cart. I'm excited to play with this one too. This is the Copa palette. But we're gonna get into her newest release, which is the Dead to Dead of Roses. So let me tell you what I got on my face real quick. I got some staples that I've been filling lately. So I I want to show you what I prepped with um, that I have been uh, loving this combination lately, and it just brings my face back to life. Like honestly, I've been using the Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. Uh, it's really nice. It's really liquidy, lightweight. I put it right in my hand and put it on and I feel instantly hydrated. So I've been using that. It's about right here right now. I love Glow Recipe products and I've never used the essence per se. I've used the toner, but it just helps to rebalance out your skin. This one's, I believe, supposed to help brighten and even with skin tone. But I've been partnering with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Nice and my Dew Drops. And you guys already know how I feel about this product. So... I've been partnering to them together as skincare, the essence first, and then this as my toner, I mean as my primer, um, and it has niacinamide in it, it has hyaluronic acid in it, love it. I use it as a primer a lot, but I've been using it as skincare lately. And then I have my Polypeptide 121 Future Cream. If you've been on my channel a while, and you've seen some of my like Sephora recommendations or my empties, I probably, this might be like my fourth, jar fourth jar this is my favorite cream right now when so this one helps with my fine lines this one helps to hydrate this one helps just like to like plump up my skin that's what it feels like to me it's all natural it's a clean brand and i freaking love this moisturizer 
Um, that's why I bought it again <laughs> for the fourth time. And then for my uh, getting into actual skin, you know, doing the face makeup for my primer, I went in with my Hygen Primer by Natasha Denona. I have really been enjoying this Energizing Hydrating Priming Serum. For my brows, I went in with my NYX The Brow Glue and my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number 4.5. I cleaned up my brows with my Danessa Myricks Vision Cover Cream in N07. That's what's still in my hand because I have some left over and I'll use it as a concealer. It doesn't dry down really super duper fast, which is really, really nice. And then I've been missing my paint pot, so I went in and primed my eyes. Let me pull you closer and let's start on this eye look. Okay, first, I guess I should show you the palette. We're this close, but I'll show you the palette. This is what she looks like. <laughs> She's so you look at the de my husband was like what that's cute i said i love it she said he said a skull i said yes i do and it's matte and then this is the palette so that's the sleeve and let me show you the color story oh this is gorgeous look at oh look at that kind of cool tone kind of taupey it has reds it has greens it is a literally right up my alley okay let me run a couple swatches real quick for you guys here are the swatches of the Deadly Rose Palette by Clarity Cosmetics. Fantastic. Really see the shimmer. The sun's about to go down, but I wanted you guys to see this palette in all its glory. That green. Oh, swatch, it's even better. I cannot wait to play with that shimmery green. Here is the palette swatch with no sunlight. I definitely like how this one is packaged better than the mermaid, the evil mermaid palette that I played in because this one shade here looks like it could be like that crinkly texture for a shimmer that was falling apart and it's not in this palette. Um, the pans look a little deeper. I really want to go in with the red. I bet those swatches were fantastic. I haven't even touched this palette. Um, but I just did a look with the Betty Boop palette with reds. So I think I want to do something different. Maybe stay in this taupey family. Um, I might incorporate this red pinkish like shimmer. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. Okay, just to play in this a little bit, I want to go into Lovely Petal. Clarity Cosmetics is a black-owned brand. I know they make products for everybody, but I'm thinking that, you know, it's going to gear towards darker skin tones for colors to really pop, which I can appreciate personally. So I want to see how this lighter color does. I'm more of a light to dark person when I work with my shadows. Um, I can start with a darker matte and then... Uh, blend out with a lighter matte, but I personally like to go the opposite way darker to lighter So this first color is called lovely petal And it's like a taupey like gray color <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna take that we're gonna take that on the rougher 15 and we're gonna drop this in our crease Okay, so I do want to try the Clarity formula on just my MAC Pink Pot without my Vision Cream because it's so creamy. Like, I feel it on there. It's attaching. It looks really good. It doesn't look like it's skipping or anything or looking patchy, but just something that I thought about because my last look, I did use the Vision Cream, I believe. So, okay, I want to go into this color called Love a Trap okay and it looks like a gray i've already swatched it and that's what it looks like this is reminding me of like the natasha denona xenon palette but what really blew on me so this looks more gray so let's see how that works out i'm gonna take it on this dual ended a sigma brush this is normally what you get in their palettes and uh this is the i'm gonna do the e38 which is the diffuser crease to blend in this shade. I'm gonna get my mirror. And I just wanna put this on the outside of the lid. I'm gonna try to do a simple look and I'm just like pressing and 
like wiggling i don't have to do much like these brushes are fantastic and honestly this color is perfect definitely giving me the depth i want and i feel like it's a gray okay okay clarity yes i like that i'm gonna kind of wiggle into the crease a little bit but not too much i think we might kind of go taupey here y'all like a gray taupe not what I was expecting because I was really drawn into the red and the green in this palette. Yeah. That was so easy to blend and get deepened and just really easy to work with. I'm going to go back into the original color just on this eye. I'm really impressed by these two shades. They're so unique in my collection because like I said, that you, the Natasha Denona palette, I just felt like it looked blue i don't get that vibe let me know if i'm tripping if you watch my xenon palette uh you know three looks i think i did three looks yeah let me know if i'm tripping and this looks blue too or if those look gray but i really feel like i'm getting a gray vibe nice and i know i threw on my <laughs> shirt i'll show you later it's a Marilyn shirt where she looking real gangster but I put that on, but I didn't expect to do like a gray look per se. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go into this color. I wanna see which one I wanna do. I'm gonna s swipe both of these taupey type gray shades. This one and this darker one right here. This is like, this is dark. We might do a gradient of the two. Head over heels and poisonous kisses. Ooh, look at how that picks up. This is head over heel. I should have tread lightly you don't even need to really swatch oh ooh, 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 ooh. yes so this has a little bit more brown wow look how rich that looks like i can't where, oh wait where did i put this <laughs> look at that oh that's so good okay <sighs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this color all over my lid and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. I don't even think I'm putting a whole bunch of color. This is this is how we're going. I don't think I'm gonna play with the reds and the greens today. I want to, look at how beautiful these reds and greens are, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go into Head Over Hills. I'm gonna take this Sigma flat brush on this side this is a e54 both sides of these brushes are sold separately i don't really want to wet it that's why i didn't do my foundation first because i do have a new foundation but i remember how these i had a couple of these shadows and they kind of were uh had fallout like i do here a little bit that was more my fault i didn't tread lightly but I do like a smoky type of vibe with this we're just gonna throw this on the lid. Look at how smooth that it. What? The last time I played with the Clarity palette, it was a very vibrant palette. This is definitely more of a neutral esque knot, but with this look that we're doing right now, it kind of is. I'm gonna take that first brush and just blend. Kind of giving some smoke. I barely just this time touch my brush in there and like the payoff is like fantastic. I was almost going to do like a cut crease, but I did it. <laughs> I was just so excited to put it on my eyes. So here we are. It kind of is a mo monochromatic vibe, but I love this color on my lid. Like I really do. Okay. I'm really excited about this look, but I think think i do want to throw a hint or red or green in here i'm i don't know or there's this really sparkly shade here let me see once and for all yeah okay this is really really sparkly and flaky and it's kind of gold oh look at the shine on that okay we haven't used this one yet but we will i'm putting this with my finger tread lightly tread lightly and i'm just gonna pat it right in the center here oh my gosh wow look at oh. you want to add the sparkle you can add the sparkle 
You don't want the sparkle? No problem. Don't add it. Oh my gosh, it's all over the place. It is all over the place like the other look, but I am okay with that. Oh, okay. Do you guys see what it did? Okay, let me clean off my face and let's um, get into this complexion and then we'll come back to the eyes. Yeah, I can't even express how I love this look. We're not even done with the eye look, but I love these colors together. Yes, I have sparkles everywhere. That color might be best with like a glitter glue. I think the same in her other palette. Um, this texture is just a very sparkly. It's so pretty though because it has a hit of gold. And with this vibe, like mm, with the grays, I think it's just a contrast, which I'm really feeling. I want to throw a red or a green in here, but I think we're keeping it like this. I will probably take this color here in the inner corner or even on the bottom lash line when we get there. But let's move on. I bought a new foundation. I got the Laura Mercier. Yes, it's been going viral and I wanted to try it. Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I'm not even on TikTok and this is going viral on all my feeds. So I bought it a while ago and I want to try it out. I got color five in one, which is cinnamon, cinnamon. Don't forget the cinnamon. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that late on Instagram, but anyways, yes, we're going to put this on. I have tried it in the store. I did get vibes of, of one particular foundation that I have in my collection, the fill of it. I don't know if the uh, finish was the same, but the fill and this is it says it's a long wearing foundation blurs fine lines okay check uh between makeup and a skin to reveal the healthier looking complexion uh provides the skin loving formula provides perfecting medium buildable coverage to weight uh so weightless that you'll forget that you're wearing anything at all so that's what i was trying to read as it was medium and i th i thought it was medium i've been embracing medium for sure my skin has been doing okay not the greatest but we're gonna see if we can build it up a little bit too but um and see how weightless it is i don't think i'm gonna be able to prevent all these shimmers from falling from my eyes and i don't even care because it's so pretty okay so i'm gonna use let me get a brush I'm gonna use my Sigma Kabuki brush. This is a F what, 80? Yeah, F80, wow. I'm gonna shake this up. My hand is so sparkly, I don't even wanna put it on my hand. I can't get it all off, so I'm gonna put it on the inside. Okay, that's about two pumps or something. It is runny, you can see it's very runny. I'm gonna go ahead and just, because my hands are so sparkly all over the place, I'm just gonna take it and we're gonna Put it on the brush like this, and then we're going to pat this in. We'll just do one half. I have worn this once when I tried it out and bought it because I wanted to make sure I had the right color. And when I did it, I'm going to go in for a couple more pumps because it's very light. Um, when I bought it, I was like... I put it on with my fingers and it was really, really pretty in the store. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. Let's try it. I haven't worn it since I bought it. So I can kind of see like, I don't know if you can tell, but um, it kind of has like this emulsion to it. I don't know how to explain it. But when I first put this on my face, it reminded me of that NYX foundation. I'll show it to you here in a minute. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. And I really liked that NYX foundation. Um, it was just the color is a little off for me. It's a little too uh, olive. So let me put this on and see if you can see the vibe. It's very smooth. Like it's smooth to where it looks like there might be oils in there. And there might be. But that's kind of the emulsion thing I'm talking about that I feel with this foundation. Very hydrating, very lightweight. Like that is a definitely a good claim for this. 
Um, so that's like a couple pumps, like three, four pumps, honestly, on my hand going to the brush. Now, if I would have just put it on my face first and then blend it out, I probably would not need it as much. I think the color is really pretty. Let me pull you a little closer. Okay. I think the color matches really good. You can see it looks hydrated. I'm not getting the covered. I think it's because I've been using this other foundation that I think is gorgeous, darling. And <laughs> comparing it, I'm like, oh, this is okay. And plus, I probably look a little tired. So we need some concealer. But I think it looks really, really smoothing on the skin. This is without the foundation. It's evening out. It's definitely evening out my skin tone. And this is what. So it looks like a smooth base. It doesn't look like, you know, cakey or anything like that. Very, very lightweight. I might even try this with a sponge. See if I like it more with that application. But I do like this brush. So I don't know if it's the foundation or the brush. But I think it's pretty. So this is how we're looking. I think the color looks good. I just think it's a very glowy foundation. It is lightweight. I want to set it and see if it's going to set down a little bit. But it reminded me, I put it on here, of this NYX Total Control Pro foundation that I tried. And I really like this foundation because it was lightweight. And it, it was a, a, like a medium coverage too. It felt really like this emolliency on the skin. It just feels like an oil mixture. It's just very lightweight, like, and the skin looks very smooth. And then if I take our Laura Mercier, which that was a lot, and blend it out, I, they feel the same. This actually feels like thinner, but they're both really, really thin, but they they have that texture. This actually feels softer, the next one, for some reason, it's just so weird. But they give me the similar vibe, not even gonna lie. So it's really pretty. I liked the NYX, it's just the color was just off for me. And then right now I just shook it up. I haven't used it in forever. And it's like, ooh, are you still good? Or are you not, are you not good? I think what's gonna help with this look though is definitely powdering down a little bit because I feel really dewy. And I'm about that dewy life lately. But I don't know. I'm telling you, I've been trying out some other foundation. And I'm just feeling a little bit more. When I bought this, I was like, ooh, it's so pretty. But then now I'm just like, I need to play with it. I need to play with it. I don't think it's bad. I think it's fit for somebody like drier skin, lightweight, medium coverage. Like it does that. It's very light. I built it up a little bit to try to help with some scarring. But I don't know. I'm still feeling a little not put together. So let me put on a little concealer. And then we'll set. I'm just going to go in with my vision cream. I had a little bit on here, but I had to wipe it off because I got over, all over my pants. So we're just going to... You see the tone is brighter too. Maybe that's just like what I'm missing is I need to be a little brighter in here. Okay, I went ahead and blended out my found concealer. I got a lot of factors working against me today. Jay's in there playing a video game and cannot understand that I'm in here trying to film. I have my neighbor out here. He must, they must have just watched the Bob Marley movie because they're bumping Bob Marley. I have Paris down here snoring. So I don't know what's going on, but I do know that I love this vision cover cream by Vanessa Myrick. It fixes everything. Look at that. I think that looks so much better. I needed it to be brightened. So I'm not saying it's the foundation for, you know, one. But I just think I needed to even out that color. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and set. Um, I did try this Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. 
And I've been really, really enjoying this. Is there anything else? Well, oh, nope. Let's do a little, oh. My eyes did different than what I thought I was gonna do because I was gonna use my Natasha Denona Pop again. Berry Pop. I don't know if it's gonna go. I do want to try this color right here by itself. So I know this is, it has gold in it. And I think that this has a little peachy gold in it. So I want to try it. We're here. We're trying out new makeup. Let's just do it. I did use this in my other look for the Betty Boop, but I really want to try this, this color by itself. It's called Tinted Glow Cream Base. And this is the Natasha Denona Berry Pop cheek a trio it's so pretty i was really expecting more reds i feel like it's more pinky berry but i'm i actually like it so we're gonna go into the middle shade before we set because it it is a cream and i'm gonna pick it i'm trying to pick it up to see what i'm gonna get like my marilyn i have marilyn on she's gangster in my shirt but then i have my marilyn brushes from moda so I don't know. Let me kind of soften this on my hand first. Yeah, it's getting pigment. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm glad I softened it a little bit. And we're just going to go in and put on this brush. Pretty. Not bad. It's just going to give us a flush of color. And we don't need too much because our eyes are doing a lot anyways. And I really I like this color. I really like this color. I tried all three together or the cream blush and then this one on top and it was cute or whatever but I think I like them separate like I think either I'm gonna go in with this one or I'm gonna go in with that one or I'm gonna put this on as a cream the other one's a cream too but this gives a nice little sheen too so that's nice we'll probably finish up with the highlighter as well but I just really wanted to see how that was going to look. I'm going to take it along because this just looks like a flush of color and I wasn't doing too much. And I really, really like that. Perfect. Okay, let's go into this Danessa Myricks Evolution powder. I have been using this, y'all. It's in yellow. I really like it. I'm going to take this light, fluffy brush by uh, Real Techniques. It's very soft. I'm going to go into my vision cream or this evolution powder. It's finely, finely milled. It's a very, very soft powder. And I'm just going to set. And I feel like it doesn't um, make me look too matte, but it definitely blurs. Like it blurs. I was putting it on one day and I was like, what? Wait, what just happened? Why does it look like that? And I'm using this light brush because I'm going to set everywhere. But I just want to show you the difference. Like, this is glowy. This just took it down a notch. Just a notch. It's not like, oh, I'm mattifying. No, we just want to set our makeup. And I don't want to be too matte. And then I can even still build. You see how I just threw that on there? And I can still build up. And I don't feel like... I'm mad. Like, I love this powder. I really have fallen in love with it. I've used it multiple times. We can still see our blush. It's not glowy like this side, but we can still see our blush. So, it's going to set. So, I think I'm going to go back into Love Trap, which was the dark tone that we used on our eye. And I'm going to buff this underneath our eye. And kind of smoke it out. We're going to take the other side of the brush and we're going to go into that color Poisonous Kiss. And I'm going to kind of just put that in the inner corner. It was the other, it's this color right here. So we put this one on our lid, our dark one. We put this shimmery, shimmery one on top of the lid. And then we're going to go with this one in our inner corner. So all the gray taupey type of shades we are using here which I am loving. I think this palette is so versatile. I love that. And that just really brightened us up. Pull it in a little bit on the lower lash line. Okay, 
I like that. Let's spray our, what else do I have in here? Oh, I wanted to try this. I wanted to try this. Okay, I've had this for a minute, but I wanna try this. So we put that powder all over our face, right? The Danessa Myricks. This is the Glaze Skin Sheer Finishing Powder by Melt. There have been so many mixed reviews on this powder. Melt had a sell and I had to try it. I got it in tan. Look at this packaging. And the compact is really, really cool. Mirror. This is supposed to be like a finishing powder. So I've never really used a finishing powder to be honest. Danessa Myricks brought down the shine for sure because that foundation was a very, very glowy. Um, this is still supposed to have a glow to it. So let's see, I'm gonna get a really fluffy brush. I'm gonna get this Sigma E F30, Sigma F30. It's gonna take this big old brush. Let's see what we're picking up here. I don't want it to change any colors. Okay, we got some on there. Let's just see if I even see a difference. They say you can just do it on like high points of your face. I would have probably even just used this myself, to be real. Hmm. Let's see. I definitely see a difference. My face definitely, let me point closer. My face definitely looks softer on this side than this side. Definitely looks softer to me. Not so powdery, even though I'm throwing on more powder. Let's see. I don't know if I get the glow that it's supposed to give. I don't know about that. Let me know. But it looks, it kind of does look like everything kind of just got melted together. Yeah, it looks softer. And everything just melted for me. I know how it looks to me. Let me know what you think. I definitely have to play with this more for sure. For sure. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and put on. So I forgot to put on bronzer. So I just went in with my Pat McGrath a bronzer. It's a, it has a little bit of terracotta vibes to it. So that's why it might look a little bit more warm in that aspect. But it's the bronze. Um, Divine Bronzer and Bronze Divinity. And so I just put that on over that finishing powder. And then I also kind of use it as kind of like blush over the other blush that we had. For my waterline, I just went into this Melt Pencil and it is in Olive, the Slick Waterline Pencil. I think that's what it's called in, in Olive. I think it caught, I think it catches the brightness of the gold in the eye. That's what I wanted to incorporate. And I thought that this just made my eyes look really, really brown. And then I, like a lighter brown. Then I went in, I did set my face too with my Iconic London spray. And then I did reset again with my Charlotte Tilbury. Do, doing the most, doing the most, you don't need to do all that. And then for my mascara, I went in with my Lash Doll Mascara. Uh, to finish up the eye look. So now I just want to do a little bit of highlight and a little bit of lip. So for the highlight, we're going to go back into the Natasha Denona palette and use that highlighter in here because it's kind of gold. It's called Dream Glow. So we're going to use a that. Let's hope that it's like kind of gold. I thought it was when I used it last time. Oh, yeah. That's just pretty. It doesn't even have to be gold, but it does kind of have a goldy, taupey tone to it. I feel like it's a mixture of all the stuff on my eye, which is beautiful. This is just a really good highlighter. 
This is my second time using it, and I'm just like, Ugh. okay, Natasha. Okay. Come for our next on the highlighter. I wish I would have known more like sooner and I probably would have been had one of her highlighters. And this is with pinky tones. It kind of does look like it has a pinky vibe, but it also looks like it has a goldy vibe. Okay, so then for the lips, I think that's everything I used off camera. I'm gonna go in with a Cloud Lab lip clay. I think this is gonna tie into the whole eye look with that olive in the eye waterline. This is called Golden Raisin. Yes. Kind of just brightens everything up and gives us that tone. And this is our final look. Yes. I love that. I love this yellow, orangey, beigey, nudie lip with these eyes. This gray gold vibe. Like, this is not what I plan to do, but I freaking love it. Okay. So. I love the outcome. Let me know what you think in the comments if you're feeling the vibe of this look. And then definitely drop me a gold star in the comments, okay? I really, really like how this came out. But let's kind of go through some of the newer products that we tried. So first off, the palette. Deadly Roses by Clarity Cosmetics. What? I love this. The mattes were so easy to blend. I love the tones. I love how we have this gold little shimmer. I do think it's a very sparkly, so you have to tread light into your eyes first if you're gonna use that. But everything else would have been fine with me doing my face first, I believe. You just have to be careful and thoughtful of what you're doing. I'm intrigued because I used, what, three, four, five out of the nine pan palettes. I wanted to use the greens and the red. Like, I wanted, that's why I bought the palette. Okay? With the taupey tones I thought were in here, but now that I know that they're gray, like, I'm so loving this. I believe that this palette got sold out, but it is on a pre order. I cannot wait to play with the greens and the reds. I, I'm just telling you now, like, so excited about that. So happy with my purchase. So excited about this brand. Coming into my indie space of products that I'm checking for because I really am excited about these smaller palettes. I like a nine pan palette and to know that I have so much versatility because these reds can go with these grays. I was going to drop some red or some green underneath my eyes. I was going to put the red all over my lid with this gray, but I said, let me come down because I gave you all a real bold red look last video. So I'm just glad to see how this can be so versatile. And this is cool tone, but we threw in a little bit of warmth with that eyeliner, with that shimmer, and with these lips, and it just all tied together. Love this palette. Love this palette. Cannot wait to play with it some more. And I love the color story. That's what got me. Packaging doesn't hurt either. Now, new, new. I, I mean, I already used my Vision Color Cream. I loved it. Um... What else did I try? So the foundation, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like when I first bought it, I was super duper excited, but I've been trying another foundation and other foundations that I use after I put this on my skin today, I'm not as impressed. Like this is probably my least favorite product that I tried today. Um, definitely gonna keep playing with it, but I don't know if it's my vibe. Uh, I know it's an unpopular opinion as everybody is loving this foundation, but I don't know if I'm loving this foundation by Laura Mercier. So real flawless, weightless foundation. I'm going to keep trying it, but I don't know. Was not excited about how my face looked or is looking either. Um, we went in with the Danessa Myricks powder. Loving this. This is my second, third, third time trying this, I think. Uh, we went in with our Berry palette by Natasha Denona. I love that I used this one this time by itself. So I really do enjoy this palette from the two times that I've used it so far. I can't wait to use it again. Not a huge pink cheek person, but like it, it looks gorgeous. And I just love how smooth these creams are. The formula is just 
so good it had me on the website looking at the first palette okay which i think i'm gonna get and try out the other pink but it's like a cool tone pink so that might be really really fun so definitely filling this we tried out the melt finishing glaze skin sheer powder I don't know how to feel about this yet because I don't think I really liked how my complexion was looking with the foundation. So I want to try this a whole bunch of different ways, but I do like how it softened up my look and didn't look so harsh. So I think it's pretty. I just, I got to keep testing this one out because it's not like bam in your face and you really see what the difference is in this product. So definitely have to keep working with this. I think that's it, y'all. I think that's all the really new, new products that I had to try was really the foundation and the palette and that finishing powder. And then the other products were things that I've just been trying. I've been recently using, utilizing. I've used them in other videos with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to play in these products. Enjoyed making this look. I love it. I feel so cute, okay, or whatever, but... Thank you guys for your time. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of the fam gang gang, okay? Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I load a new video. Give me a quick like if you're feeling the vibe of this video and this channel, okay? And remember, there's only one way to do your makeup, your way. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a blessed day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.